So we have the HDLink cable for the PlayStation 2 right here. And let's go ahead and lower the, t the uh, screen. I almost said TV, you heard that? But behind me, guys, is my new screen that I got from Amazon. It's really cool. I really love this. It's 125 inches, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it right now before it hits the bottom. But here's the cool remote. It's an Elite Screens uh, screen, so let's stop it. Uh, need a bit more. All right, right there. Right there is good, guys. So this is the Elite Screens remote and pretty cool anyways so this is my screen right here guys this is going to serve as the tv i have my projector back there which i will show you in a second as well that is a view sonic px 727 projector is a 4k projector it plays 4k movies and all that stuff this screen is compatible with 4k movies so it means that you know the screen is made from a material that it helps light project 4k as well so it's really cool and uh it's, it's awesome i've watched two movies on here already and i am in love with this screen but right now let's go ahead and check out this hd link cable and uh let's see if it works on this brand new projector using the ps2 slim so let me back up right one second and let me get my ps2 slim right here so let me give you guys a close-up of the ps2 slim right here so here is the uh famous ps2 slim i never owned one of these uh while the ps2 was still active i actually bought this at a thrift store and i'm really 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 happy with it Oh, look, I have a Guitar Hero 2 in here. Whoa, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out, uh, connect this stuff here for you, and then I'm going to see if it works with the projector. And also, let me give you guys another close-up of the um, HD Link cable so you can see that as well. So let me put this down real quick, and I'll be back in one second. All right, guys, here is the box. HD link cable for PlayStation 2. You can find those on Amazon. I will leave you guys a link in the description down below. Again, anything you buy from Amazon on my channel goes towards helping the channel. So thank you guys for checking that out. This is the back. It says compatibility, PlayStation 2, HD port. What's in the box? HD link cable, the 6.6 .6 HDMI cable, six foot micro USB power cable. Back here, also compatible with the PS1 games and the PS1 console. Upscales to 720p for maximum compatibility. And uses high definition RGB signal. All right, so let's go ahead and open this for you guys. Again, this is the actual cable right here, the little device, the pound. Here's the power uh, place right there. You can plug in the um, USB-C and here is the HDMI all right here are the cables that it comes with so it comes with the um, USB and the HDMI cable let's check this out I'm excited to give this a try so right now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my camera and I'm gonna show you guys the projector which I have mounted up there on my ceiling so uh, I also want to give you a disclaimer, sorry for the mess in here, there's a really big mess in my man cave right now, we are painting outside, I'm remodeling, moving stuff around, I just routed the HDMI cable to the projector, so that is also, it looks like crap, but I'm going to go ahead and hide all that, but right now, just turn a blind eye, don't, don't look at that bad ugly stuff, alright, just check out, check out the good stuff that I'm about to show you. So, let me grab this camera and let me take you guys over here. Alright guys, so here is my view Sonic PX727. Again, this is a 4K projector. 4K UHD view Sonic. Here are all the connections. It's upside down because obviously the projector is upside down. It has to be upside down on the ceiling uh, to be mounted that way. But um, what's important here is the uh, HDMI cable and the power cable. Now this HDMI cable is running over there. Like I said, this looks really ugly, but I have, 
you know, connected it already. So I'll give you a, a look at the um, screen and what it looks like. So there is my screen. And then now I am going to go ahead and give you guys a look at the PlayStation 2 basically on a 125 inch screen. So if you're excited about that, say yay in the comments down below. All right, one sec, let's go ahead and try that out. All right guys, so here is my PS2. I've connected it. What we have to look here in the back, we have to check out the connections back here. We have the, um, the video cable and audio cable here. This is the power cord. And then here's the pound cable. So what I did was I connected my HDMI cable that is running to my projector and that is connected to my uh, receiver here. So this is my um, Onkyo receiver. So this is connected to that, which sends a signal, like I said, to the projector. This is the pound cable. Right now it's off. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on. And the way I'm going to do that is um, pretty, uh, I don't have a connection here to power this thing. So I'm going to use my, um, little uh, charge bank here that I have. So I'm gonna use this and uh, power the uh, pound cable here. So that is gonna send a signal now. Here's my power source, my little battery pack. And today's game, last time I tried out, um, it was Vice City, but today I'm gonna try out this um, greatest hits, Dragon Ball Z Burkai Tenkaichi. This was one of my favorite games back in the day, so I really like this game a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. So here's the game, and uh, let's turn this around one more time. Whoa, like this is a really bad way of doing this, guys. I apologize. So let's um, get that. And uh, before I uh, turn this on, I got to turn on the projector. All right, cool. So. Have the game in there. Let me pause this real quick and turn on the projector. So here's all the mess I have going on here, guys. But here I have the remote to turn on the um, receiver. So I'm gonna turn that on real quick. It should go to game or something like that. So that's cool. Now I can go ahead and turn on the projector. So let's go ahead and do that. It's showing me right now it has no signal. That is because the PlayStation is turned off. So let me go ahead and turn that on for you guys. So let's move down here and turn this on. And let's power this bad boy on. There's the green. Let's back up. Ooh, cool. Now I want to turn off this light that I have here. So let's turn that off. All right, guys. So now I turn that off as well. Memory card. Oh, damn, guys. Look how big that looks. Oh, I have to click. Yeah, sorry. I can't read. Cool. Now that's cool. That's cool, guys. Awesome. So let me go ahead and uh, put this back here. On the stand so you guys can see. I don't know why it looks yellow, but it looks yellow. Uh, not sure what this is about, but let's see what happens. So ah, fixed it. All right, guys. So if you saw that there, um, the component video out here, uh, it was set to, uh, let's see. It was set to YCBPB CRPR, which makes everything green and yellow, which is ugly. So if you click on here and you put RGB, you get cool colors. So let's go ahead and try this again. I thought it was the game, which is kind of silly. And I also thought the PlayStation itself was actually broken. But let's go ahead and try again, uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi. And uh, this time I actually, I'm 100% sure that is gonna work correctly. So let's go ahead and try that out once more. And uh, see, that's why we have, um, we have, uh, to, to actually troubleshoot and do stuff, you know, I'm not an engineer for, for nothing, you know, I, I think outside the box sometimes, and uh, this was a fairly simple fix, 
So let's go ahead and uh, let's go back. And uh, I guess, uh, how do I go? Do I go to browser? Is that like uh, for me to pick the game? Yeah, there it is. So let's just start that again. And uh, I apologize, guys. You know, sometimes you have to actually test stuff. But right here, you see the actual test while I'm showing you the video. So I'm not making any of this stuff up. So this is pretty cool. All right, those look like cool colors. So yes, let's continue. Oh, all right, all right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Who else has tried playing a PlayStation 2 on a 125 inch screen, huh? Only here at Pop Games at YouTube, baby. So with a pound cable, you can go ahead and try playing some Dragon Ball Z. Look at my head right here. My head right there, woo! So, awesome, let's skip through all this stuff. Let's just see if I can uh, get into a fight or something. <sighs> you know, analog right here, baby. Oh man, this is way better than before. So, as expected, you know, the quality in text is not the best, but we have colors, guys. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that, huh? Let's put the start button. New game, shut up, Master Roshi, yes. Again, guys, I have to learn how to read. Hmm. All right, let's duel then. What's up, Goku? All right, one versus computer. So I'm for sure going to pick my boy Vegeta. Where's he at? Vegeta and then... Yeah, normal. And then let's pick, let's put Piccolo, normal. So look guys, the colors look great. It looks awesome. Again, the text is a little soft. It's not as sharp because this is a lower quality resolution. Uh, the PlayStation 2 doesn't output in like, you know, 720 or 1080. But for having, you know, to, to actually play this in on a modern, television guys a projector a 125 inch screen this is awesome so let's go ahead and try this out just to see what's up i haven't played this game since i was probably i don't know 15 i have no idea last time i played this game so it's been like you know at least 15 years i don't know i have no idea but let's go ahead and try this out guys <sighs> whoa <laughs> Look at the polygons guys. It's not bad for an old uh, console. Oh my god. How do I power up again? Okay. Oh no Yeah, bro, you're not gonna f Okay Okay, yo, oh he got me bro Damn, I'm about to get my ass whoop. Oh my god piccolo dude Take it easy Oh no, he's gonna get me. Oh no, he got me. No, 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 no. Oh, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, he got me. <laughs> he got me, y'all. Oh, what's up, man? Man, this fight. That was only one round? Oh, no. Let's try one more time, guys. Let's try one more time. Yo, Piccolo, take it easy, son. I forgot how to fly. Okay. Dude, this is a strong... Oh, my God, bro. This is the strongest Piccolo I've ever faced in my entire life. Oh my god. I really want to go Super Saiyan. Get wrecked, Piccolo, get wrecked. 
What the hell? How the hell did they shoot me, bro? Man, this game, man. Damn, son, damn. Ah, oh, all right, guys. I got wrecked by Piccolo twice. That's not cool, man. That is not cool. Piccolo destroyed me twice. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and finish the video. This was awesome. Let's return to the main menu and get wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, guys. So let's turn this thing down here. Yeah, let's turn that off because that's destroying my face. All right, guys. How awesome was that? When have you seen Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi? on a 125 inch screen huh nowhere else so the pound cable lets you do that guys it works with a slim i thought my playstation slim was broken but it's not broken it's actually me i had to go into the configuration and change it from whatever setting to rgb to make it work so it looks awesome on this so i can revisit all my old school retro games my playstation 2 games on this awesome screen yeah that's awesome guys so this projector made it awesome it makes it like a thousand times better than you know having a small tv and you know if from back in the day i know a lot of gamers back in the day sorry that was a project shutting off back in the day a lot of the gamers had that little um you know we had 19 inch tvs the tubes or whatever and as we grew older they started getting bigger but that was a heavier tv but now guys as an adult all you gotta do is go to amazon buy this pound asian link cable for the playstation 2 and you can play on projectors you can play on your modern televisions it's awesome guys so if you enjoy this video go ahead and leave me a like share and subscribe make sure you share this video to let other people know that you can play all these games on actually 125 inch screens on projectors which is awesome again that was a view sonic px 727 i will link down below and i will also link the screen and i will link the pound cables you can check that out and buy it if you want again guys if you like this video like share subscribe and i will catch you guys next time thank you guys for watching pub out let's be super dramatic right now let's be super dramatic right now Woo! yo let's bring back the games baby let's bring back my my uh, shelves I love this thing let me stop it let me stop it right now awesome guys thank you for watching and I'm out